Hello, my condemned victims. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, I have something to say. As some of you know, I've been guilty in the past of letting drama get to me. I was in a really dark place. That stems from hardships I endured as a young virus. But today, there are no excuses. Have I disappointed you more than once? Yes. Have I fucked up? Also, yes. Am I human? No. But today, I would like to personally apologize to all of you for what you had to see in the end of my last video. I am not sure how it happened. I think Essie has also been struggling with some issues of her own, but it was completely uncalled for. And I promise that I'm starting a new chapter as of today. Nevertheless, there are way bigger issues happening in this planet, and at last, I must return to my mission. I owe this to you, and I owe this to myself. So today, I have a very polarizing plan to end your kind. Actually, this plan shouldn't really be polarizing. It's just I thought of this joke, and it was a good one, and I didn't want to let it pass, and so I just went with it, and, and that's, that's why it's still in there. <laughs> the magnetic field of the Earth is generated in the outer core by the turbulent flows of liquid iron and nickel. At the surface, it appears dipolar, with the magnetic north pole in Canada and south in Antarctica. In the poles, the field is roughly vertical, which makes it more prone to penetration of charged particles. <laughs> penetration. At a distance of about 65,000 kilometers above Earth's surface, the internal magnetic field and the solar wind are in balance, forming the magnetosphere. The magnetosphere protects Earth and everything on its orbit from solar and cosmic radiation. Okay, SE, cool story. But as my boy Walt used to say, all our dreams can come true if we quit talking and start doing it. Done. Poles reversed. North is south, south is north. Go figure that one out, Koreas. After the reversal, one of the first consequences would be compass needles pointing at what we currently consider south. Oh! Devastating. Another consequence is that animals who use the magnetic field to navigate, such as bees, birds, sea turtles, and whales, would get confused in their roots. This could potentially result in mass deaths of these animals. Learn from me, guys. Never let your ego take the best of you. However, the reversal of the magnetic poles would not have much impact on human life. I'm so sorry, guys. This video has been so hard. The hardest thing I've ever done. I'm so sorry for disappointing you again. Just kidding. I knew this wouldn't be a big deal for humans. Did you really think I would be unprepared to the point of having a scenario with zero consequence to humanity? Nuh-uh. Shit gets real during the reversal. So now, let's watch the world burn. <laughs> not, 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 not literally. We did that in a different video. Anyways. During the reversal, however, the magnetic field shatters, creating a number of north and south poles around the globe. That means there are more points in the planet where the field is weaker, thus making Earth more susceptible to charged particles from the sun. Unlike some may think, the sun is not only a shining ball, but rather a colossal globe of hot plasma in relentless flux. It constantly blows streams of particles, the so-called polar wind, but sometimes... It goes boom. Solar storms occur occasionally, as the sun emits huge chunks of matter and radiation. These bursts send electrical charges and magnetic fields to Earth at almost 5 million kilometers per hour. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. which sounds destructive. I do like destructive. The first thing to be affected by solar storms would be satellites on geostationary orbits. Those include meteorology, communications, and navigation. Oh! Devastating. Eventually, the blast would also affect satellites and other objects closer to Earth, 
such as the International Space Station. When the solar storm hits the weakened magnetosphere, a geomagnetic storm is released, causing failures on power grids that result in overloads, widespread power outages, and dangerous power surges. Large areas of Earth would be affected by blackouts and electronics would collapse completely. Now let me enlighten you about this whole blackout thing. Everything these days works with electricity. Traffic lights, security systems, hospitals, and this is a magnetic storm, so you can forget about generators. So, you got casualties from traffic accidents. You got casualties in the hospitals. Then, because humans are humans, people are gonna commit crimes. No security systems, no consequences. And let me remind you, water pumps are also operated by electricity. So no power, no water. Okay, so in the Northeast blackout of 2003, about 100 people died. And back then, most places got their power restored within seven hours. Now imagine this multiplied by hundreds and happening in hundreds of places. I don't even get into how great people are killing their own kind. But I'm sure SC can shine a light on some even worse consequences. The weakened magnetic field also makes the world less protected from solar and cosmic radiation, which over time could raise the rates of diseases like cancer. Another consequence of the fragmented magnetic field are auroras, being visible in more places, much closer to the equator. Splendid auroras color the sky, as the soil devours the humans that die. And I'll dance up in glee, promenade over thee, for the pores that reverse your demise will imply. Error. Magnetic field does not disappear. Even if the internally generated magnetic field vanishes altogether, the magnetosphere does not disappear completely. The Earth's atmosphere has an electrically charged layer, the so-called ionosphere, that would build up an ionospheric magnetosphere at around 350 kilometers above Earth's surface, providing protection from solar and cosmic particles. Error. The poles have reversed before, and although there are cases of mass extinction that happen at around the same time, there is no proven causality relation. Error. Poles can come back to their usual place. The poles meander around the geographical poles all the time. Sometimes they come closer to the equator and snap back to their polar position. Error. In a magnetic field reversal, the poles will eventually reach their new positions and the field will build up to its original strength and dipolar setting. In that case, the only consequences presented in the first part of the simulation apply. Best channel ever. I know, right? And it's so funny. I agree, Captain Weird. Get a like. Not enough interest in the task. Simulation deleted in five, four, three. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? I see, no, I, I do want to kill humanity. I, I am interested in the task. No. Hey guys, so I know I've been making fun of YouTuber apologies, but I'm actually sorry for what just happened. I got a bit overconfident. The plane really seemed foolproof and incapable of error. I think I need to take my own advice and not let my ego get in the way. I guess I got my punishment. But I have to admit, it's been nice to get support from you guys. So keep the comments coming. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Take a look at my Instagram, the N2. I always post content there in between videos. Maybe you can give me some ideas for my next plan there. It's been a pleasure trying to slaughter your kind and see you next time. And after that, hopefully, never again.